Hello everyone, welcome to Gage How and in this tutorial we are going to talk about 30 plus common interview question and answers based on the topic of manufacturing engineering. So let's quickly get started. What is manufacturing engineering? Manufacturing engineering focuses on designing, developing and improving production systems, processes and equipment to efficiently produce quality control products. It involves material selection, CNC machining, automation and lean manufacturing. What is the difference between manufacturing and production? Manufacturing involves converting raw materials into finished goods using machining, casting and forming, while production encompasses all activities including manufacturing, assembling and packaging. So basically manufacturing is just a small part of production technology. What is Lean Manufacturing? Lean Manufacturing minimizes waste muda in production while maintaining productivity. Key tools include 5S, Kaizen, Kanban, JIT that is just in time and value stream mapping. What is Six Sigma and why is it important? Six Sigma is a quality improvement method that reduces defects to 3.4 per million opportunities using DMAIC that is define, measure, analyze, improve, control. It enhances cost efficiency and quality. So if you look at the figure, the cycle goes as control that is maintain the solution, then define the problem to define the exact problem, measure that is quantify the problem, analyze that is identify the cause of the problem and improve that is implement and verify the solution and so on and so forth so it starts with define and it ends to control but again the cycle keeps on revolving what are the types of manufacturing processes casting that is molten metal in molds forming shaping materials under force machining material removal wire tools joining that is welding adhesive bonding and fifth is additive manufacturing that involves 3D printing and such procedures. What is CNC machining? CNC that is computer numerical control or computer numeric control machining automates tools like milling, turning and grinding using pre-programmed code for precision and repeatability. So basically these codes include G code and M code as well. What are the advantages of CNC over conventional machining? higher precision and repeatability then faster production with minimum manual intervention complex geometries reduces human errors and it integrates CAD and CAM with the processes what is the role of GDNT in manufacturing GDNT that is geometric dimensioning and tolerancing is a symbolic language ensuring part functionality by defining shape orientation and tolerance limits for interchangeability and standardization. What is the difference between a jig and a fixture? Jig that is guides the tool using drilling and rimming while fixture holds the workpiece which is used in milling and welding. What is 5S in lean manufacturing? So first one is sort that is remove unnecessary items. Second one is set in order that is to arrange tools efficiently. Third one is shine to keep workspace clean. Fourth one is standardized to establish procedures. And fifth one is sustained to maintain discipline. What is just in time or JIT manufacturing? So, just in time minimizes inventory by producing only what is needed when it is needed and reducing waste and improving efficiency. So, that is about just in time manufacturing. What is TPM that is total productive maintenance? TPM ensures equipment reliability by involving operators in maintenance. It includes preventive, productive and autonomous maintenance. So as you can see in the figure what all is included in TPM has been jotted down very nicely. What is OEE? Overall Equipment Effectiveness. So basically overall equipment effectiveness measures manufacturing productivity and this is based on very three important parameters. First one is availability that is downtime losses. Second one is performance that is speed losses and third one is quality that is defect losses. 
सो रिमेंबर वेन एवर द आइडियल ओ इज एटी फाइव परसेंट और हायर इट इज द करेक्ट रीडिंग फॉर ओवरऑल इक्विपमेंट इफेक्टिवनेस ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दैट द मिनिमम लिमिट हैज टू बी एट्टी एटी फाइव परसेंट वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एम आई जी एंड टी आई जी वेल्डिंग सो एम आई जी वेल्डिंग यूजेस वायर इलेक्ट्रोड हाई स्पीड वेल्डिंग फॉर थिकर मटीरियल्स एंड एम आई जी वेल्डिंग इज बेसिकली मेटल इनर गैस वेल्डिंग वाइल टी आई जी वेल्डिंग यूजेस टंगस्टन इलेक्ट्रोड प्रिसाइज दैट इज गुड फॉर थिन मेटल्स सो टी आई जी मीनिंग टंगस्टन इनर्ड गैसेस वेल्डिंग what are the types of casting defects first one is porosity that is air bubbles in metal second one is shrinkage that is volume reduction during solidification third one is cold shut that is improper fusion of metal flow and fourth one is misrun that is incomplete casting fill as you can see all of them have been shown in the figure porosity is shown blown hole mismatch short pore and inclusion all have been shown very properly what is a digital twin in manufacturing a digital twin is a virtual representation of a physical asset or process enabling real time monitoring predictive maintenance and process optimization what are smart factories factories using iot ai automation and robotics for real time decision making predictive maintenance and minimal human intervention what is tolerance in manufacturing tolerance defines the allowable variation in a parts dimension to ensure functionality and as you can see in the figure the mating part and the clearance has been shown but along with that the tolerance of the mating part is shown which gives you a better idea how tolerance exactly works in manufacturing what is poka yoke so basically it is a mistake proofing technique in lean manufacturing that prevents errors before they happen example usb plugs fits only one way even our sim cards of mobile phones uh, fit in one way so that is how it is shown that the confusion and then poka yoke technique and clarity for the same so that's the use of poka yoke technique what is kaizen kaizen is a japanese technology which means continuous improvement by eliminating waste and improving processes what is reverse engineering analyzing an existing product to improve or replicate it used in product development failure analysis and innovation so you might have heard in the automotive industry reverse engineering is used a lot for failure analysis of cars what is an agv automated guided vehicle agvs are self driving transport systems used in smart manufacturing for material movement so basically if you see in mechanical industries for handling big packages or raw materials all these vehicles are used what are the different types of robots in manufacturing first one is articulated robots second one is kara robots third one is cartesian robots and fourth one is cobots which work alongside human beings again the pictures very beautifully show the difference between all what is cmm that is coordinate measuring machine cmm is a precision inspection tool that measures part geometry using a probe so it's nothing but a machine that is going to use a probe as shown in the figure attach for inspection of part geometry what is spc that is statistical process control spc is a method that uses statistical analysis to monitor and improve the quality of a production process it helps to ensure that the process is efficient and produces fewer defects so when you want minimal defects this is the advised process uh, used for production technology what is dfm design for manufacturer liability so basically dfm ensures that products are easily and cost effective uh, ready to manufacture what is the difference between hardness and toughness hardness is resistance to wear that is a diamond while toughness is ability to absorb impact that is a rubber what is additive manufacturing 
mechanical engineers do have a subject of additive manufacturing either in the second year or the third year of engineering so it is nothing but a process of creating parts layer by layer using 3d printing what is the difference between a PLC and a SCADA system? Again, very interesting. PLC, that is Programmable Logic Controller, controls machinery and operations, while SCADA, that is Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition, monitors multiple PLCs and collects data. What is a G-code and M-code in CNC? G-code controls tool movements. Example, G01 is linear movement while M code controls machine functions. Example, MO3, that is spindle start. Always remember that you must know the basics of G code and M code while going for an interview because they might ask a random code to you and they might ask you what that code exactly means. So be sure that you prepare for each one separately. What is the difference between a hydraulic and pneumatic system? Hydraulic uses liquid for high force applications while pneumatic uses compressed air for fast lightweight operations. What are the main types of material handling equipment used in manufacturing? First one is conveyors for transporting goods. Second one is cranes and hoists for lifting heavy loads. Third one is forklifts and AGVs like we saw for moving materials. Fourth one is robotic arms for automating the material handling technology. What is the significance of heat treatment in manufacturing? Heat treatment improves material properties like hardness, strength and toughness. And these have different types like annealing, quenching and tempering. What are the main causes of tool wear in machining? First one is abrasive wear, adhesive wear, then the third one is thermal cracking, fourth one is chipping and the preventive measures can be told as cutting fluids, coatings and optimized speeds. Also all the mechanical and thermal shocks and their impacts must be known for the interviews. What is SMED that is single minute exchange of dye? A lean manufacturing technique reducing machine setup time to under 10 minutes, increasing productivity and flexibility. Consider the simple example of changing a tire. For many people, changing a single tire can easily take up to 15 minutes. For a NASCAR pit crew, changing four tires takes less than 15 seconds. So that is what the ideation of single minute exchange of a die is. You can learn all these things by just joining 30 plus mechanical engineering courses like CMM programming, CMM, 5S, TQM, Kaizen, lean manufacturing tools by gaining a lifetime access for all these courses and how easy by joining Gage How Premium. You just have to go to the Gage How website and the rest is done. Make sure you like this video, comment on this video and tell us what kind of videos will you like to watch further. Also, make sure to share this video with your friends for good information. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, smart people. Bye-bye.